This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 4. Coverage you can count on. Right now at 4.30... It's one of the main questions parents across Central Florida are asking. What are local schools doing to prepare for the coronavirus? Today, we found out the extra steps one district is taking on buses to prevent the spread of illness and how one doctor says parents can tell their children about the coronavirus and ease any nerves. The kids are concerned. Seminole County Schools now have a procedure to disinfect the buses. They do. Drivers receive cleaning supplies this week. And Channel 9's Michael Lepardi learned today that another cleaning team is also working to stop the spread of germs on board. So we will we start on the door. The process begins at the front door of the school bus and then moves inside. Starting this week, Seminole County Schools told bus drivers to disinfect their vehicles several times a day. We just want to be protective of our students as well as our employees. So we're going to do whatever we can to be good stewards for our community. Assistant Transportation Director Stan McKenzie shows us how it's done. He says the district wants to get rid of germs, not only because of concerns about coronavirus, but also because of the flu. The district transports around 27,000 students a day, and McKenzie knows how fast things can spread when kids are close together in a small space. That's why we're very proactive in trying to do what we can to eliminate as many germs as we can. Drivers received Lysol spray and wipes as well as gloves. McKenzie says they're focusing on areas that students frequently touch, like railings, seat belt buckles, and seats. We have approximately 450 buses, so we clean all 450 of our buses every day. Drivers were always expected to clean their buses, but the district says this cleaning is more in depth. The spray and wipes come out after each round of drop offs is complete, which can happen between seven to 10 times a day. And the cleaning doesn't stop when the bus finishes up its runs. Another crew comes in here and does another round of cleaning each night. In Seminole County, Michael Lopardi, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The district has been sharing the instructions with drivers this week and providing reminders as well to make certain they wipe down the surfaces. Members of Florida's college system are also making changes as a result of the coronavirus threat. Under the guidance of the state, schools like Eastern Florida State College and Florida Tech are enacting new travel restrictions. All employees and students who return from travel to China, Iran, Italy, Japan, and South Korea have been instructed to self-isolate and not return to campus for 14 days. The colleges continue to carefully monitor the coronavirus situation. And thousands of people are heading to Daytona Beach this week for spring break and bike week. Yesterday, cities, counties, and hotel and event officials told us they're not taking any additional precautions for either event because of the coronavirus. They're just advising people to follow the CDC's advice, which includes washing your hands and wiping things down. Volusia County Health Department officials say they have a response plan in place if the virus gets here. United Airlines is now the latest to waive fees for changing or canceling flights as the industry takes hits from the coronavirus outbreak. The airline says there will be no change fees for any flights booked between Tuesday and the end of March. If customers later decide to cancel, they can apply the ticket value towards another United flight for up to a year. American, JetBlue and Delta have also announced suspension of at least some of their fees as well. Some pediatricians say that they've been inundated, as you can imagine, with questions about the coronavirus. Channel 9's Sarah Beth Ackerman sat down with one doctor about the conversation that you can have with your children. The kids are concerned. The kids are bringing it up. The parents aren't really the ones bringing it up. Dr. Candace Jones talks about the new virus all day, every day. Absolutely. So I, I made a joke. I'm so glad I'm part time right now because the two days I've worked, each week for the past few weeks, I've been talking about the coronavirus nonstop. Now that the coronavirus cases are popping up in Florida, the nerves are also climbing. That anxiety, that, that worry is all about the new coronavirus. Dr. Jones says most of the concern and fear is coming directly from her younger patients, especially because the symptoms are so similar. Here's a refresher with the flu. You're looking at a cough, a runny nose, congestion, and body aches. With this new coronavirus, you're looking at all of that, except swap out the body aches for difficulty breathing. They're, of course, getting panicked. And I know we talked about kind of easing the hysteria. Uh, what would you say to those people who 
are feeling overwhelmed by all this. Right, right. It is totally understandable to be feeling overwhelmed right now. But the message is to plan, not panic. Dr. Jones says focusing on a plan and getting ahead of this is the best way to handle the situation and keep the nerves at bay. Educate yourself. Talk with your family. Set your children's mind at ease. Kids are worried about this as well. The more facts you have, the better you should feel. Reporting in Orange County, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. As a reminder, to avoid the spread, Dr. Jones is telling everyone to pick up the phone to call your doctor's office before just walking in to see your physician. Well, last night, Eyewitness News anchor Darlene Jones had an important conversation. She sat down with these two experts from Advent Health, and they all talked about some of the myths going around about the coronavirus and answered viewers' questions on Facebook Live. If you'd like to look at it, we have posted the full conversation on the WFTV Facebook page. It was very enlightening. Knowledge is power, especially in this uh, situation. Well, new at four, 